it might make sense just to get some in case it catches on if enough people think the same way that may becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy satoshi nakamol hello everybody welcome back to this video we're gonna go over this uh, news amazing where the central african republic become the second i would say join the team of countries becoming uh, accepting bitcoin as a legal tender so now um this uh, basically the news dropped yesterday and uh, basically just saying um just uh, for follow el salvador steps now um let's uh see uh let's see what how bitcoin can help them like uh, so countries that make uh that have made bitcoin legal tender say that it can improve their economies and usher in a new age of digitization this has yet to be completely proven though it is still early days for El Salvador, which is spearheading this movement. So yeah, um, exactly. So other countries be will be looking uh, to El Salvador and the Central African Republic for information on how the experiment are panning out. So basically, yeah. So and you see other countries have like Colombia. Uh, see a lot of uh, crypto ADMs like there's a lot of demand for it because it's a necessity right now inflation is crazy it's going crazy countries realize they need something that cannot be corrupted and by the way this country um, you know this African country was using it's been using the a colonial currency which is the you know uh, French franc which is like a uh, currency like colonial where basically they, they just give you a currency and then they you know let everybody use it in the country and then um at the same time when they need some money they just go print uh, this the money and then they devaluate the value of everybody in the country and then and, uh, you know you see all this chaos you see there's always war there's always um bad things happening because of these causes right so they just went the money away so uh they took independence i uh it's about from uh august 13 1960 from france which was like which is like physical independence it's not really independent if you're still using the country uh, currency you still slave okay so but now they you know move away from this i think it's going to be very challenging they are just a population of around 4 billion people uh, below El Salvador, which is like 6 billion around. So, uh, and uh, next is uh, basically, yeah, that's uh, the, the and the GDP is about uh, $2 billion, right? $2 billion for GDP. So, uh, it's good news, it's good news. I mean, uh, it's very great because uh, the more a uh, country join El Salvador, it's better. And El Salvador, uh, you know, we don't want El Salvador to stand alone there with all those uh, external forces, you know, like uh, try to, you know, you know, uh, come against them and, and uh, you know, like we don't want El Salvador to stand alone. Okay, we need uh, other countries who can become um, sovereign. Uh, you know, like uh, really sovereign, so we can us as uh, human, like uh, see us, us the individual, we can become really uh, sovereign individuals. So, and uh, uh, what next? We had a Ford yesterday. Basically, we had a Ford from the MicroStrategy, and uh, MicroStrategy addressed that. Not sure, quote, not sure who needs. To know this but when microstrategy makes any material change to its corporate strategy to acquire and hold a bitcoin or to its bitcoin holdings we disclose this to our shareholders via sec 
cgov uh, filings available to all so basically you just address this um, you know if he would make any change he would um, first he would basically he would disclose that right he would disclose that to shareholders and uh, you know via the you know the legal process right he wouldn't just you know do that suspiciously right so this is what he clarify for everybody we need to know so no reason to for panic so there's always that those kind of things in the space so if you knew there is you will always see those uh, those fake people um those scammers trying to uh, spread fraud and fake info information false information and to get you panic so it, that's why i always say you need to have full conviction i don't care if Marcus strategy sell all his bitcoin that's just like how many bitcoin does they have they have like around like f like four four around four billion dollars of bitcoin right so even if they sell let's just say like, give um you know like newcomers and it gives more people who really understand bitcoin more opportunity to buy more so uh nobody really care so if you're really a, a true bitcoiner that shouldn't really panic you right so it's just like the newcomers who don't understand who don't have enough conviction who will sell in those type of situations okay so hey okay now uh, next uh, let's move on to uh the rainbow chart um because I, I i like to just uh, check on this we see the price here stay the same uh not really moving much right so this is the bigger picture and this is a signal right so when you see all this fraud and all this even good news bad news you know you know price will go up and down it doesn't really matter if you are a trader you will lose you you know if traders are losers right they are just losers and they just uh make videos every day to make people you know make newcomers fearful and they, they put a trade they put it long and they try to make people and a few people so they can uh, make money but most of the time they fail and they lose money they are very dishonest out there especially those people on youtube those youtube uh, influencers uh, and also like all those companies like those big uh, big corporations taking uh you know bitcoin from uh, um on the market and uh, so using you know, all the companies and then use them and then uh, to make trade and then they you know make make posts on on those news uh post news and then they they make people sell stuff like that so they may they see something stupid and a lot of people sell and yeah so now i wanted to show you guys what's going on with the yen which is like the japanese currency um it's it doesn't seem like it's going it, it's going very well out there so that is dropping like a walk um yeah so yeah so the, this is not good this is not good for the global economy uh, you know so it it doesn't sound very good for you know for the global economy um anyway so it's just something to know to think about so when you you know like uh holding this type of coin you know currencies you know so there's no uh going up it's just going down in terms of value so anyway just something to know and uh yeah so uh, uh basically i i and also if you want to this yeah this is basically you can go on this website and you can uh, model uh, you know just from the past and see you have an idea of how much you know satoshis you can accumulate you know don't need to accumulate a full bitcoin you can start by ten dollars a week or ten dollars a day and if you did that for the past two years you would be getting 11 million satoshis right so uh the real unit of bitcoin is satoshis and if you're focusing on satoshi then you will see the you know the massive value of a long time of a long term and this is why you need full conviction don't just watch don't just you know listen to what i say you have to go learn and understand and find out for yourself what is bitcoin and what the value position and all that so my job is simply just to educate and build this bridge so more and more people can cross over to this so when the when the 
cheesy hit the cheesy uh like they say so less people get hurt and this is what i'm doing is uh, to help more and more people uh, get on board so you can be protected anyway um first you have to educate yourself and then i hope you enjoy this by cover report and i will see you again very soon